Gregor with MLB.com Entertainment, and I'm joined in studio today by the kings of bachata, Aventura. Hi, hey, guys. Everyone. That's a How mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are here, well, you guys are here for several reasons. First of all, you guys are from the Bronx, um, Definitely. which I think automa- automatically makes you Yankees fans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, have, yeah I, I have to tell you, yeah, I have to tell you that my family, actually, they're all Mets fans. Really? Yeah, and I grew up in the Dominican Republic, but me, for some reason, I just didn't click with the Mets. And when I found out there was another team, you know, the Yankees, I just it, just, it was like love at first sight. I don't understand. It just happened. You guys grew up in the Bronx, right? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we grew up me. in the south part of the Bronx, and we actually live right across the street from the stadium. Whoop, whoop. Really? Uh, yes. We grew up, you know, with, with baseball, of course, around us, and, and the Dominican culture, and the music, and uh, when we uh, hooked up with uh, Romeo and Henry, me and Mikey already had a band together, Romeo and Henry had their own little thing going they used to go to church choirs. When I met Anthony, me and him just clicked as me like like with the guitar and him like doing his music. And that's how it came about the whole Aventura situation with the whole music career. And, and by the way, they're brothers, we're cousins, but we all have the same last name. Oh nice. So yeah. I think it was like it was like probably I think it was, you know, a work of God or something. You guys together now, very successful. I've heard that your single now has been number one for five weeks. Our album. The, Our album. Al- the whole album has been number one for five album, weeks. Yeah. I'm sorry. Wow, that's amazing. Every time a, a, a major artist comes out with their album, I mean, we're going to expect, of course, to go to number two or number three. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it just came out, so they're going to sell out of records. But, like, you know, uh, like unknowingly, I've been through number one again. And this week, again, number one, after oh, another wow. artist brought out his album. I mean, big artists, big names. So, that including pop and rock and yeah, exactly. all, the, all the different genres Right next together. to uh, Dave Matthews Band, Eminem, Aventura. Yeah, that's really amazing. The last time a Latin artist did that was uh, like three or four years ago, which was Mana, which is mm-hmm. a big rock group in Latin. We were talking before uh, the, the interview started, and you're actually a fan of MLB.com TV. Well, I'm, actually, I'm actually a subscriber, <laughs> of course, and I got the premium package. Oh, um, I, I love it. I mean, I think it's been one of the greatest inventions for baseball. And he's not a gambler. Time. I don't gamble. <laughs> I watch four games at a time, but I don't gamble. Because we travel, we're on tour. Right. They don't have the, you know, for the Yes channel for you to watch the Yankee game or whatever game you're interested in. I go to MOB.com. Man, it's such a, it's, it's amazing the technology. I could just see it right there in the second. Whenever I'm not in his room trying to watch yeah. the game, the Yankees game, I, I go in the iPhone, I have the at-bat, MOB at-bat, which... Follows, you know, a few other games, all of, you know, the whole year. So, growing up, you guys living very close to Yankee Stadium. Who are some of your all-time favorite players? Oh, wow. oh my God! We'll start down with yeah. the team of the night. Right away, since yeah, you're taking me back, I want to um, say I have to Don say what I, what I like to do is watch, you know, like um the finals uh, when they're in playoffs and they're like very yeah. interesting um games. And and I definitely notice the little thing I, I I pick up on. I don't know. They'll correct me if I'm wrong. Is that a Rod seems to be a player that, you know, he could be unpredictable where you were. Like you're probably not rooting for him. All of a sudden, he saves the games. Like, is, is that a correct thing to yeah, say? Yeah, he, he's really good. To yeah, me, a lot of people hate on A Rod. I love him. He's one of my favorite baseball players. Yeah. Not because he's with the Yankees, but because, of course, he is the highest paid. But the way he <laughs> he handles the pressure yeah. of everybody because of the money he makes. When it comes down to it, it's because of the amount of money he makes. Because if he wasn't the highest paid baseball player, they wouldn't, you know, talk about him as much or on the tabloids as much. But because he's the highest paid, he has the most haters. So, you know, they're going to hate on the guy. Yeah. But he handles it well. And when he plays the game, he's professional. He does his thing. There's a funny fact about um, baseball players and musicians. It's like... Most of us, most of the musicians want to be baseball players. Oh, exactly. And baseball players, players want to be, be musicians. musicians. Yeah. It's like, and, and it's, you know, like... We're you like, got Jose Reyes doing songs. You also have Ruben Sierra doing the music. David Ortiz. How does it know? feel, though, to know that these guys are fans of yours? Is it weird? It, it's very weird. Yeah, I definitely know they don't want to change their income for art. <laughs> 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 they want to be musicians in theory. That. Your new album's called The Last. Yeah. And the number one album uh, for five weeks straight. Yeah. So where can people go to get more information if they want to check out your music, well, see some pictures? Well, our real website is AventuraWorldwide.com. Like, any, anything new that just happened, it will be there first. Ah, well, thank you guys so much for stopping by and talking baseball. Um, hopefully we can have you back in when you're, you know, on tour or getting ready Definitely. to sell at another great big venue. Okay. And thank you guys so much for coming in. It was a oh, pleasure to meet you all. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome.